Hello, everybody. Uh, Dylan Kuhn here and uh, with Nathan Schott, sales reps here with Green Cover, talking a little bit about uh, when is the best time to start planting our spring mixes. Uh, I know everybody's getting itchy to, to get into the ground, whether that be moisture, whether that be it seems like springs here. Um, so just kind of want to discuss with you guys what our approach is um, to, to going about that. So Nathan, what, you know, when a customer asks you, hey, I'm ready to plant, you know, when when's the ideal time? What do you kind of generally uh, recommend? Yeah, so this is definitely a really common question right now. Uh, you know, the main thing is soil temperature for germination and then air temperature uh, to avoid any winter kill. So most of your cool season species are going to germinate around 40 degrees. And so as long as our, our long-term average and our current soil temperatures are at that 42, uh, I'm sorry, that 40 degrees, um, and that's probably, that probably needs to be taken at uh, a two inch soil depth and early in the morning um, if, if we're at that point. And then we, we just need to be past any concern of a hard freeze. You know, cool season species can tolerate some frost. It's when you get those hard freezes down in the 20s that we're going to start seeing some winter kill. Um, of course, there are a lot of other factors that go into, uh, you know, when is the time to plant? So maybe you want to get into the weeds a little bit more on those. Yeah, so I definitely agree with <clears throat> with those parameters. It's we cannot physically be out there measuring the soil temp, you know, so, you know, any, any kind of, you know, any kind of thermometer works that has any kind of probe. So even just a, you know, just any kind of like a food thermometer works to, to measure those, those temperatures. Um, I, I usually refer to green cast um, and with green cast, you can put your zip code in there. You can see roughly current soil temperatures. You can see five and 10 year average. So I kind of combine the, the two, the three of those, um, you know, to get to that 40 degree temp. And then I also kind of incorporate the the 10 day forecast for the ambient temp to see, okay, do we have any hard freezes, you know, coming up or what are the, what are the 10 day for, what's the 10 day forecast look like? Um, and you know, that, that freezing temp, you know, really kind of coincides with it. I believe it has to be around, you know, four hours at that temperature, you know, kind of that's when you start to get, um, that's when you start to get those, those killing frosts for some of those cool season um, species. So uh, you know, keeping that in mind, um, another another thing you can do if you have if you're planting just something simple like peas and oats, planting it a little bit deeper. Um, it can you can get it in the ground while you have moisture, get it sprouted, and it's going to stay in the ground a little bit longer. So we can maybe avoid if there are some of those hard freezes here, you know, in the next couple of weeks. Um, but that that at least allows you to to get it in, get it up, and and hopefully get a good good forage going with some more moisture. But those are really the parameters I try to try to stick to. And yeah, it's the biggest thing is going out there and measuring it yourself too, to get good, good hard data on, on your area. Yeah. Cause there's going to be a lot of factors that affect that soil temp, you know, the, how biologically active soils are, what's, what's our residue situation, what's our moisture situation. So yeah, tools like that Greencast website are great for getting ideas, um, but the results are going to vary on the farm. So, and I definitely agree with that thought of, Hey, I have a really nice planting window right now. So plant now, plant a little deeper, like those oats and peas, those cereals that can go a little deeper, and then we'll delay that emergence, you know, by a couple of weeks. Um, it'll be a couple of weeks before those plants are up where they're actually susceptible to being um, damaged. And so uh, that's how we can kind of take advantage of early springs, like what we seem to be having this year, um, and and get our seeds in the ground. So, you know, it can be as simple as comp or as complicated as we want it to be. But at the end of the day, 40 degree soil temps and past the hard freezes and, and we should be good to go.